Hi. Oh my god. In order to keep myself awake, I must make a video to show on how am I still alive at 5 o'clock in the morning. You don't need the blast. You just need the regular How are you stalking my mom, man? What? No, he's stalking my mother. Vaughn is stalking my mother. Yes, and I'm, I have to do this now to keep myself awake. Yes. I'm suffering at 5 o'clock in the morning. What time is it? 5.30. Two more hours? What do you mean two more hours? Two more hours will be at 7. Marina doesn't open at 7. 7.30. But Marina doesn't open till nine. No, it doesn't. Seven thirty. Why would you tell her time? Breakfast. Please, we've been doing this. That didn't sound like brunch. That means for a whole other year. Yeah, and then we made for a whole other year. That's the bad thing. Yay! You're telling me this is why. I don't know why. I feel bad for the people of Marina who open it at seven thirty. Oh no. Anyway. Yeah, now you can. I'm up at seven thirty. And these people are playing Mega Man. Can we play Guitar Hero for fifteen minutes? Flying powers? Yeah. Why hasn't I'll God given? <laughs> Vaughn's reason of why God didn't give us flying powers is because he would really shit on someone's you car. You Somebody takes your car for scrap. Like, come on. What would you, you know how long that would take? Time out. First off, first off, why would you leave the car your spot if you could fly? <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> It's like, that's too much work. You got to drop your pants, and then you're hovering, which means... Why, why am I driving in the <laughs> <laughs> Duck, duck. That's disgusting. Hey, you don't like me. You never said kind of what you said to talk like. Duck. But... <laughs> Come on. Get the air flow. It's like the best drying method. Just fly around. Yeah, you me. only you say that's the best drying method because your ta you didn't have a towel when you were in the bathroom today. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, come on. Don't bring your roommate into this. Hey, at least you admitted it. He is a nice guy. I mean, he rarely talks to people, and I I bet he rarely talks to you. So that's no, the... He does? Oh, he likes you. Wow. Not in that sense. See, that's the thing. When you find out someone likes you, it means they are going to like you. They take that. Uh, it's the whole new perspective. Like, yeah, your like, old perspective change. doesn't change. It's like... It's like, what if he, t he you told him, oh, I'm from Jamaica, and he looked at you like you're the most disgusting person in the world. What? I think somebody up here is actually going to like me. A boy? No, a girl? Who would want to like you? Good point. Down that number. You're lazy. Good point. No, no. I was right. And you don't have a job. Good point. And you don't drive. Good point. I need one Huh? You got a big head. You're black. You're lazy as fuck. You don't want to do shit. You live in New York. Why did God make you? For all those reasons, somebody likes you. She must be some one lazy ass motherfucker. How do you know she likes you? It's been 11 months. Who? Huh? I said it's been 11 so months. You're talking about your girlfriend? She doesn't live upstairs. Oh, 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 you know who I'm talking about. This bitch stay in that room. Oh. Like that. Wait a minute. Everybody I told you that years ago. And your ass didn't believe me. I recognize the PJ when we were standing outside of her. I hope you recognized yeah. it when we were in Marina. Because I was older than her. No girl would make me move her if she liked me. Yeah. But the way I was Apparently, older, if you held her like that, you do like her. No, I was cold. Sure. Okay. No, 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 no. Sometimes, sometimes. You got to admit, you sometimes the girl comes out and you want to hug the guy and the guy can't do anything. You can say, why are you touching me? In that point of the moment, I was cold. Is it? Oh, God, Vaughn. If, you, if there's some curiosity in you... 
I'm not talking about in a gay sense. No, I know what you're talking about. Hear me out. out. If you were, sorry, if you were gonna cheat, God forbid. No, on her, I'm not talking about cheating. I'm talking about God forbid you and your girlfriend were to break up, and would Paulette? Be, oh God, would she be another option? No. I'm too abusive to Kayvon, and I'm still with him. No, but she, she is. You don't know when she doesn't know when to stop. I don't know when to stop either. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Stop. Yeah, sure. You and then one, the mouth. She has a mouth. She doesn't know when to shut up. No, no, no. You, you know what I mean oh. by a mouth. Oh. Okay. Well, you guys said I know when to stop, and he just like totally dogged me and was just like, "No, oh, she doesn't." No, I said I don't know when to stop, and he's like, "Yes, you guys. Oh, you all had my back and said I appreciate that. No, you know when to stop." And then this heifer over here says, "No, she doesn't." I don't even know because every time where I can stop touching my face. No, that's you. I was up. It's just like you gotta tell me the opposite. It's just there. Okay, YouTube. So I'll ask you this question since I'm on here. Um, for the girls. Can they hear me? Yeah. That is not going YouTube. It's already recorded from the webcam. So once I press stop, it's saved and published. I highly doubt they can hear you. My headphones are in. Um, we'll stop talking. Uh, okay. Okay, Antonio. Okay. Yeah, porn website. <laughs> okay. So YouTube. Um, what are your your suggestions? It's like what. Guys, what do you hate most about what a girl does besides touching your face? No rude comments like, I hate it when she doesn't suck my dick. <laughs> I think that's really inappropriate. Some boys don't. Like what? And girls, what do you hate most that guys do? Me, personally, I hate when guys brag about themselves when they know damn well they don't have anything. You want to know like, oh, yeah, I got some strong-ass muscles. You, want, you, you want lift up your shirt, and you got a beer belly. Like, you just, what are you talking about? Oh, just guys and girls in general. Like, Johnny, what do you hate what a girl does? Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. Crap, they do. Now, see, what I'm going to say... Come on, this keeps me up, since you guys aren't going to put on Guitar Hero. Are you really recording it? Yes, it's YouTube recording. Don't put that on YouTube. Once I press stop, it's already published. Yes, yeah, so there's no... Yeah. Time. I mean, so it's going to be sound. There are people that I know that are on YouTube. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get my ass whipped. You do, get you do know my, my, my page is private, which means you have to be my friend in order to view any of my oh, videos, cool. right? And this is... I didn't even say your name yet, so... What are your views? What do you, no. I'm just asking, what do you hate women... What, you, what do you hate that women do? Whenever you're a girl and you're dating a boy that talks about his dick too much, good, it cut off. It's either he's lying about his dick size or he's actually 72. So, yeah. Find that out on your own. I'm not gay. I'm walking out of here. What, did you have your book? Your, oh. um, your and I'm also going to publish a book. It's what was called, it called? What was it called? Uh, the Odds Are Against You. Oh, yeah. So, give look out for examples. that. It's coming out. I ain't going to give you no examples because this is not no real thing right here. It's like too early for this. Um, what, that's my friend Johnny over here. Why'd you say his I'm name? Out of here. Fine. His name is not Johnny. All right. It's Mexico. <laughs> it's Pablo. Hey, pa Pablo. Easy. You already said his name you and then said the his name. Guy in there. Hmm. It's just like this is what happens. Damn, it's five thirty eight. At five thirty eight in the morning in the lounge. And she has to say the location of the lounge. Um, I'm just gonna tell you, it's University of Bridgeport. Why? It's all the way in Bodine, seven floors. It's five thirty. It's five thirty eight in the morning. I got a five page paper due at eleven o'clock in the afternoon, and I have not started it. I have no finals tomorrow, today. But I have two finals on Wednesday. Can we play Guitar Hero? Please. Mega Man is really getting on my nerves. The graphics are really killing me. Can I have some 2010 graphics now, please? <laughs> like, damn. Once you see this enough, you like. Once you see like Call of Duty and Halo, you're just like, gosh, damn. What the fuck were they thinking back then? Like, it looks 
right? You're just like, Ma, look at the graphics on these things, man. 23 by 30 pixelation. And now you got like Blu-ray games and every movie is in 3D and you look at this shit and you're just like, why the fuck did I play this? Like, remember you seen the Kingdom Hearts? Like the Kingdom Hearts resolution back then? You were just like, it's just like, yeah, they're full-bodied really. figures, like a 3D imaging. When you turn them around, they have full bodies. And now you look at the games nowadays, it's just like they don't top it. I am tired. Come here, Vaughn. Let's, let's do this now. Can you come on here? Oh, okay. Um, why is, yeah, why is every movie in 3D nowadays? I have on my lip book. Good. Why is every movie in 3D nowadays? Yogi Bears in 3D. Sooner or later, everything is going to be in 3D. Like, porn is going to be in 3D. That's so crazy, by the way. What else is going to be in 3D? Everything you watch TV is going to be 3D. TV's already 3D. They have a 3D TV. Yeah, but I mean, soon they're going to make it standard. Like, the next thing they're going to be standard is actual, like, 3D TV. Like, remember when they got rid of um the antenna TV? Yeah. And you had to go to... um. No, you had no. It, yeah, you had to go digital. I remember the commercials, like two years ago, were just by like February relieving it. Like by February first, you have to go digital, and I was highly upsetting because my TV in my room had an antenna at the top, and I was yeah. siphoning cable through my VCR box oh, you, you it, to get channel. Oh yeah, I got. I still get channels one through like thirteen. Oh, you it's just like I watch. Chan- I watch PBS Kids and mm-hmm. Channel Eleven. Yeah, like, like Vaughn broke down. Or what movie were we watching that Vaughn was standing there just like, like, how, come on, how the fuck can you do this? Or how can you see this? I don't know what movie it was. I know we were watching, no, it was Johnny with the 25 oh, Days of Christmas. It was Johnny with that, and then I was doing it with Oh, yeah. He's like, come on now, reality TV is not really reality. It's not even supposed to be that way. It's all staged. It's stage TV in a reality-based reality sense. Go to a Spanish person's house. And just pay them six cameras in and don't, don't, don't do anything. Reality would be hidden cameras. Yeah, that would be. I mean, you know the cameras are in your house following you, which means you're not going to do anything I, wrong. I, yeah, we catch Johnny in his natural habitat. Damn. I've, got, I've caught Johnny in his natural habitat. Huh? Wait, what? We've caught you in your natural habitat. Which my natural habitat? Right next to a plane. <laughs> in a truck. <laughs> Pickup truck. With thirty of your closest friends in the back. I need to know this stuff because I don't even know. Here's a stereotype that that I really want to know. Yeah, let's talk about stereotypes. People actually eat a lot of plastic. Dominicans do. Why? Dominicanos eat a lot of plastic. Well, yeah, we have banana trees and plantain trees. But they prefer to pick the plantain because they're bigger than the bananas. Like it's more like when you cook it, it just tastes better. It just tastes good. Jamaica has them. We yeah. used to. The thing is, we don't get them here. We don't get them here because uh, they rip the people off. Like, all the good stuff is, stay, is staying over there. Mm. We're not giving anything else to the U.S. Aren't you Aren't sad you left? Uh, I haven't been there since I was, like, one. Yeah, I know. Jamaica used to trade with the U.S. for sugar cane. Yeah, but they didn't um, I, I mean, my dad has sugar cane. I mean, we have, like, stalks in the kitchen, like, this big. Yeah. Which means, like, Americans nowadays, if you feel like you're feeling the need for some sugar cane, it's like you have to go to, like, a black market for it. Well, are you just way way down? Like, what I do is just go to the black market. Yeah. But I think that if they find your, like, if you bring in mangoes, if they find it, they will take it. And they throw it away right in front of you. They they try to get in the office and just sit there and see what you're talking to. Take them out. I would too. Shoot, I remember my cousin came f- from Italy and uh, it, uh, the the stuff he had for his job they tried to throw away. So it's just like the heat. They thought like the powder from the ravioli he had because it was raw was crack. So he was like, "You guys don't believe me." So he brought them all into wherever they were and cooked the ravioli and ate it right in front of him. And he was just like, "If this is crack, then it's something I'm bound to die in the next three minutes." Because they thought the powder, oh, you know how when you make spaghetti, it's just like the wheat has got that powder on it. They thought it was crack and they were going to throw it away. So he cooked it and ate it in front of them, and they just let him pass. Yeah, 